So this is a post that I just made to my blog, and I'd like to read it and get it out on my YouTube channel as well. There's much, much more truth behind this, but this isn't a bad place to start. In 2002, I traveled cross-country to meet someone I'd begun talking to on LiveJournal. It did not go well. I quickly saw that not only was I totally incompatible with this person, but this person was a malignant narcissist. When I attempted to tell this person that I did not foresee a future together during lunch at a restaurant, he made a huge scene, sobbing and bitterly shouting at me from across the table. Being 3,000 miles from home, I felt all I could do at that moment to calm the situation was play along and back up off my statement. When we returned to what I originally was led to believe was his house, it actually belonged to his quote-unquote brother, I was about to bring up the subject again and was stopped short by a Claire audience message. I heard, Do you see that shed behind him? Shut up and keep playing along or your body will end up in that shed. I followed the guidance. I kept mum and acted like everything was fine until I was safely on the bus back home. I was so terrified from this experience that I ended up <laughs> in a loveless marriage with my then roommate thinking a marriage would somehow protect me. Instead, I have been gang-stalked, abused, betrayed, taken advantage of, misled, surveilled, trafficked, exploited, tormented, quite possibly dosed with LSD at one or more points, and basically fair-gamed. And the person I married in hopes of finding protection? I have not seen him since he abandoned the marriage in 2007, when he could no longer live off my income. We're still legally married, meaning basically I am stuck in a false marriage. I've been completely drained of all of my resources, and endless obstacles have been put in my way to prevent my progress. However, every action taken against me has brought me even closer to God and my enormous, enormous team of spirit guides. So I don't know what my future will bring, but I do know, no matter what, everything will be okay. And that's the truth bomb I have for today. And there's much, much more where that came from.